Hey, hello. Welcome at Theatre Casablanca here in Amsterdam at the Seedijk. My name is Ray Joel and today I want to show you something about this symbol. Sacred geometry, the flower of life, told through a classic of magic called the cups and balls. So watch very carefully. One, two, three balls, and of course, three cups and a magic wand. See, the balls can go through the cups like this. One, two, abra, cadabra, and the ball goes through. Now, it cannot only be done with three cups, it can also be done with two cups. Watch. One, two, three. And if you practice careful and hard enough, you will even be able to do it without any cups, like that. Now the balls can not only go through the cups, they can also move from one cup to the other. I put one ball under this one, one ball under the middle cup, and one ball here. Now if we make this ball small enough so you cannot see it with the naked eye, I can walk it over to the middle cup and do exactly the same with this one. And now you will see they have moved from here to there. Now the balls can not only go through the cups and move from one cup to the other, they can also go from an impossible location, like my pocket, back to its respective cup. Just like that. One more time, very slowly. Watch. I'll take the ball and Okay, you caught me. I didn't really take the ball. See, this is what the magician does. He uses sleight of hand to create the illusion that he took the ball, while in reality he held it in his other hand. Now nothing goes to my pocket, and this one is just quickly moved under the cup, like that. See, if I would really take the ball and put it in my pocket, I would have a problem. That's why we always have the magic wand. <coughs> Making the impossible possible. Now this is not about the cups, it's not about the balls. It's about that symbol floating right behind you, the flower of life. Because if you make lines between the circles, you will find five platonic solids. And these are the real magic. The first one being the tetrahedron, a pyramid with a triangular base. But like I told you, there are five. And these are the tetrahedron, the dodecahedron, the cube, the icosahedron, and the octahedron. And where they came from, I have no idea, but I hope you enjoyed it here. Thank you.